What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, Meet the Teats. I'm Chris Teat, and today we are going to be injecting our turkey for Thanksgiving. All right, so the first thing that you want to do when, you're, when you got your turkey, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you wash and clean the turkey fresh off the package. I got Melissa back here. She's filming. Hey, guys. What's going on? All right, so... Um, so what you want to do is make sure that you clean out your turkey, uh, get the little bag that's in there, pull out any, the gook or anything like that, the guts, anything like that, pull out all that stuff, clean it. The turkey remember, neck. Clean the turkey neck. But we have remove the turkey neck because it's already going to be disconnected. So you clean that turkey neck, whatever remainder is left, clean that off a little bit, shave a little bit off. Um, and then what I would do is I would thoroughly wash it, preferably with cold water. Cold water works. And um, so at the same time, you want to make sure that you're getting everything in every little crevice. Um, take a little spoon. My mother-in-law just showed me how to take like a little small spoon and get everything out. Everything that you could possibly get with your hand and by spoon. And what I did also too, is that I used a little bit of apple cider vinegar. It's kind of like a disinfected cleaner or whatever. Just, I use it on all my meats. Even when I do the steaks, chicken, everything, I just um, wipe it out, wipe, every, wipe my meat down with the um, apple cider vinegar. So once we get that done, what you want to do is you want to kind of dry your turkey. Typically, I'll just get a paper towel and kind of pat it, pat the turkey, all areas, the back. The, um, the breast area, the legs, thighs, everything. Dry it off, make sure that it's dry. Now, it still might be some water um, that's coming from the turkey, so you just want to keep drying it throughout the process here before you start seasoning and everything. Once you do that, I created uh, my own personal little Teats turkey butter. And it got a few seasonings. I can't really give my my seasonings away, but I got a few seasonings. So, so what you have to do, you take a butter knife. I might come around to the side, baby. So, what you want to do is you want to create an entrance. Pull the skin of the turkey. Make sure that it's loose all the way around. And so, what that do is create space. So when you're ready, you can go in, insert your, you can insert your butter knife. And you're just creating the space. Just kind of pushing it, trying to get that skin. And go as far as you can with it. If you have smaller hands, you can maybe fit your, your fingers in there. I know I can, I'll probably damage the turkey. So push that around. Then that's when I'll take my little, little bit of butter and I'll just take it and I'll insert one in one area, like say the center. And make sure you're putting this over your, your breast, over your turkey, over your turkey breast. Wipe it off like that. You see that bulge? See that bulge? What you want to do with that is you want to take it and kind of work it on around, move it around, move it around so that it gets in there and gets and it travels into the rest remainder of the turkey. So you can put it pretty much push it each direction that you want it to go left, right, up, down. But you just want to make sure that it gets into your um, your breast area, especially because that's mostly the driest area. All right, so you got all your areas butter within the breast area. You got everything moved around. Your turkey is um, semi-dry. And uh, what I did is I um, took a little bit of seasoning that I know that I'm going to use on the outside of the turkey, and I kind of seasoned the inside of the turkey. So I just take, uh, I took the uh, Tony's, and I'm using Tony's. Using Tony's, and I'm using the Select your mama for the outside, for the outer skin of my turkey. And 
And I just kind of put a little bit, just sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on the inside. Wipe them inside, swipe the legs to get in there. Kind of feel like a science project, but I'm telling you, it is well worth it. Because that's frying too, and people kind of like eating the gristle. Not a big fan of the gristle, but some people like it. Today I'll be using Tony's Garlic and Herb Marinade. Um, I've been using this for years. I know my dad, I don't know which brand my dad usually um, do his turkeys with, but I just figured I like Tony's seasoning, so I'm pretty sure that won't stare me wrong with the marinade. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys. And sometimes I was taught to um, kind of cook and add to your to your marinade if you would like to. That could always be done, but at the same time, you could always um, just take it straight out the bottle. And that's what we're doing today, right? Yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right. All right, so the thing about Tony's um, Marinade, they supply you with a syringe in order to, um, in order to inject the turkey with. It doesn't come assembled, so you have to assemble it, which is pretty easy. You just take the screw here, unscrew it, screw it. It'll be unscrewed once um, you take it out. When it's screwed into this area, and it comes packaged inside of inside of here, so this comes out completely. In order for you to keep it, you can reuse it, and you can also, um, you know, use it year after year. All right, so. Dip my needle in. Grab, grab, grab. Scoot it back down again. Back, 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 as much as you can. There you go. There you go. All right, so the thing about injecting the turkey is that you want to get um each side so typically i'll do maybe three three punctures per per side on the breast three to four punctures per side on the breast then i hit the legs on each side then i hit the wings on each side you don't want to stick it all the way in you just want to get it right where And you don't want to pour it too much. To how much are you basically putting in? Just a tad bit, just like a little. Yeah, probably do a little bit more. See that overflow? I think I might have squared a little bit too much in that one area. So make sure that you don't do that. up to this line where you see that that's where you're uh, that's where you're a little bit past the hole in. yep get a little bit past that hole there
So today I might just put like a light um, seasoning over the turkey on the outer on the exterior of it. But on Thursday, that's when I'm gonna go back, take it out the fridge, because it's gonna be in the fridge, you know, for a day or two. Take it out, dry it off, blot it down, make sure that it's not wet because it's gonna be deep fried. You don't want that water to get into your deep fryer with the oil going. So I'm gonna um, that's why that's the reason why I'm not gonna fully season the outside today. So um, Thursday, the day of, I wake up early early in the morning, season the outside of the turkey really good. Make sure that I get in every um, crack and crevice of the turkey, and that's when we're gonna put it in the grill. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, be be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our page at Meet the Teats. Once again, I'm Chris T. And uh, that's that. I'll see you guys on Thanksgiving. Peace.